Hey guys, welcome back to Legendaries Unleashed. Today we are finally getting into our Celestial Storm booster box. Now I picked this up from spshop.ca and I'm really excited to be getting into this. We have 36 packs, hopefully some good luck in here. Going to be splitting it into two parts, so we've got 18 packs per part. And I just want to go ahead and show you the artwork on this box before we get into it here. We do have Rayquaza. There are some really cool Pokemon in this set, like Stack Attacka. We've got Blaziken. And then there's Jirachi. There's also Articuno. Um, th there's just so many cool cards in this set that anything I could pull, I'm going to be really happy and excited about. I know that for sure because it's just quite the variety and quite the change up from what we've seen in some previous sets. So let's go ahead, get this tucked down here. And then the toughest part is going to be which side to start off with. Oh gosh, the left side or the right side, let us go. Let's start with the left side this time. Hopefully, hopefully some good stuff in here and then hopefully some good stuff in that second half. I'm just gonna put it off to the side here. That way we've got all the room because you know I'm going to have toppling piles of cards everywhere and the more room the better. So go ahead, see if I can grab one of each artwork so you can take a closer look at them here because I don't think we have gone over that yet. So just a quick look at the artwork. We've got Stack Attacka, we've got Jirachi, Blaziken, and Rayquaza. So I think the only one where I actually still need to save the artwork is this one. So we'll start off with this and then we're just going to destroy all these packs and see what we can get. That is going to be the most fun opening these and figuring out what kind of pulls we can get because it's always fun with new set to see how these box boxes shape up. And like I said in the last video, we are still looking for our very first Prism Star card from this set. Hopefully that's gonna happen in this box. Let's just wait how to how to do this the best because I don't want to have weird lighting stuff go on. So maybe Put these packs over here and get started. We've got a Beldum to start, Larvitar, Whalmer, Bellsprout. Hopefully not take too long with this box as well because sometimes that happens once I get into these. We've got Pupitar, very interesting artwork. I like the little speckly aspect. We've got Fisherman, Reverse Sea Dot, and a regular rare Regirock. And the goal, like always, is to try not to make a big mess but that always kind of goes out the window because there are so many cards happening so many things happening just hard to keep everything together keep it nice and clean and not have things just kind of fall all over the place but it's a goal every time and one day we may actually hit it the other thing i like looking for when we're opening these we have a bag on double bag on is to see how we're doing with our reverse foil cards if we get duplicates, if we don't. It's kind of fun to see. For some reason, it's just one of the things I really like. We have a reverse Dawn Fam. And there we go. Our first Prism Star of the set is the super cute Jirachi. I think out of the Prism Stars, it was this one. And I believe there's a Latios in the set that I really want. Is Latios in the set? Gosh, I really have to go back and check that list. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep getting confused because I keep seeing a bunch of the Japanese stuff, so have to double check that. But we do have super cute Jirachi here, and then a regular rare Registeel. Have to get our beautiful Prism Star. Nice and protected. Very first one. Really nice artwork on that. And time to... Come on. I've got to pick up the pace here, because we're already in at four minutes and I'm sure you guys don't want me to take too too long opening these. So let's do this. Pick up speed. Got a Shuppet, Trico, Cacne, Mudkip, a Slugma, Fire Energy, Cacturn, Weepin' Bell, the Masked Royale, Reverse Wingo, and a regular rare Grumpig. So no super crazy cards. We do have one Prism Star, but we're just getting started. We have so many more packs to go. So many more chances at 
something wonderful. Gosh, 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 I keep hoping we're going to pull a really cool full art in this set. Some really nice full art trainers. We've got a little Invertata, Slack Off, so I'd love to get my hands on any of them. They just look so cool. We have a Psychic Energy, Vigoroth, Nesli, Friendfall, Reverse Mudkip, and our very first pull, GX-wise, of this box is a Hyper Rare or Rainbow Rare, whichever one you want to call it, Electrode GX. Oh, I knew this one was going to be the troll of the set for me. I have a feeling I'm going to pull a lot of Electrodes. I kind of feel like that's the way it's going to go. But I'm excited to see that this one is a Rainbow Rare. And it's just a very cool Pokemon. Look at that artwork. So our very first one there. Let's see what other kind of goodies this box is going to have. Okay. Do do do. Let's get this going. We've got a Torchic. Love Disc. Spinarak. We got another Torchic. Slack Off. Fighting Energy. Combuskin. Minin. Eight Tate and Liza, Reverse Groovile, and a regular rare Metacham. Some very, very cool looking cards. And the nice thing is, seeing some of these, I know I don't have them, so we will get closer to completing our common and uncommons from this set, which is always fun as well. Something about doing that, just so much fun. And one day, one day, we will get closer to having a full Sun and Moon set. I just have to figure out which one it is that I want that to happen. I'm not sure if it'll be this one, where we have to get way more booster packs. Got a Rainbow Brush. Tropius. Reverse Cacturn. Ooh, we've got a Mr. Mime GX. That's another one of those interesting Pokemon I was telling you about in this set. So nice to see them switch it up. And Mr. Mime is kind of far out there in my opinion, so the fact that it got a GX is pretty cool. Get this beauty sleeved up. Take a look at the back here. Have some good looking cards there. And so far a good looking box. Get that tucked in all the way. And we're not even halfway done this first part. Which makes me excited and slightly nervous about how this whole thing is going to go. Okay. Got a Sneasel, Wismer, Mudkip, Baltoy, a Bagon, Darkness Energy, a uh, Kel Kelsion, Hustle Belt, Bullbeat, Re ooh, Reverse Kyogre, look at that artwork. That is a very nice looking card. And then a, ooh, Hollow Steelix. Wow, look at that background. That is a very, very cool looking background. This this set is just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Great artwork. Great looking cards. And yeah, just just a lot of good good goodness. Which is always which is always nice when you have a set and you're really excited about it. Because I know we've had a couple sets where it's been a little less than, you know, exciting. It's been Okay, you know, you'll get some of the main stuff, but don't want to get too into it. This is not one of those sets. This is an exciting set. We've got Torchic, Psychic Energy, How. This set also makes me just ramble. Underground Expedition. We've got a Shellgong, Reverse Fisherman, and a regular rare Manectric. Gotta get your Rambo on with a good set like this. Uh, let me tuck these cards. Where am I going to tuck these? Tuck our good cards to the side, just so we don't get a weird glare going on from them. And keep going with more packs. It's always exciting to think, too, like, this is how well I'm doing in the first part. What is the second part going to look like? Got a Trico, Gulpin, Wismer, Shuppet, a Grass Energy, Energy Recycle System, Marsh Tomp, Sableye, a reverse Minior and a regular rare Binette. What does Binette have? Does Binette have like a lipstick or something? The, 
very interesting to take a closer look at some of these and what's going on in the back. Uh, I think I'm going to move on to making a second pile here because so far I'm doing pretty well with not knocking anything down and I don't want to jinx that. I feel like anything could happen and everything could just start falling into frame here. So let's keep going. We've got a skitty Alolan Rotata Porchic Meditite, Chin Chow, a Lightning Energy Mawile, Acrobike, Last Chance Potion, Reverse Tropius, and a regular rare Ultra Beast Kartana. Ultra Beast is something that I think is really neat that they've added into these sets. Something very cool. I don't know what you guys think of the Ultra Beasts. Maybe that'll be my question at the end. I have to figure it out. So many good questions revolving around these sets. All right, we've got Beldum, Shuppet, Mudkit, Torchic, Wismer, a Grass Energy, Lure Ball, Rainbow Energy, Gorbis, Reverse Gorbis, and a Hollow Metagross. We're having a lot of Steel type love here. Metal type, Steel type. We're having a lot of love from these guys. Go ahead. Hopefully, have a little bit of variety of those hollows coming up. Love to see some from the different types. Kind of wish that Kyogre would show up, regardless of it being. I think it might only be a regular rare in the set, but it still looks really good. We have a Baltoy, Beldum, Lotad, Sea Dot, Water Energy, Grubile, Energy Switch, Elombre, Reverse Shrine of Punishment, and a regular rare Regice. I should let you guys see that regular rare Regice. Okay. We have, I think, one, two, three, four, five. We've got six packs to go. First part, six packs. Let's see what we can do with these six packs. I also, I feel like I've seen people only get one Prism Star card from this box. Have to see if that is a common thing. We've got a C dot, open, C dot, Psychic Energy, Life Herb, Sky Pillar, a Torkoal, Reverse Rare Candy, and a regular Rare x Cloud. So be interesting to see if that's a common theme, or just some of the people I've been watching have had that kind of luck, but they've also been getting some better pulls on the other spectrum than a Prism Star, so that might be the trade-off for those. Who knows? Booster boxes aren't quite as predictable as some previous ones. We've got a Famfy, Electric, Torchic, Onyx, a Sneasel, Fighting Energy, Swalot, Copycat, Huntail, a Reverse Pelipper, and we've got a Heat Ran. No, we are keeping it going with the Metal type. Very interesting that that's the way that this is going so far, is all of our hollows have been the same type. I wonder if that's going to be kind of the theme of our box for those. I know so far that is not the theme for our other polls, but always interesting. Alright, we've got a Clam Pearl, Lotad, Fampy, Wingull, Trico, a, oh man, I did this super wrong. We've got Reverse Rare Bonnet. Got a regular Plessel, Pelipper, Soul Rock, Mag Cargo is our regular rare, and a Metal Energy. Got a little bit distracted there, and I think I did the 3 and 2 instead of 4 and 2. Got three packs here to go. Was doing so well on the pack trick until I got a little too distracted. All right, try this again. Try for Redemption Pack. We've got a Baltoy, Wingo, Metatite, Sea Dot, Clam Pearl, a Fairy Energy, Hiker, Lure Ball, Oricorio, Reverse Onyx, and a regular rare Bonnet. Having a lot of Bonnet love. 
I believe there is a GX for that Pokemon as well in this set. Maybe that is a sign, maybe not. We don't know. Never know when it comes to these booster boxes. Always tough to say. But we're coming down to the last couple packs here. We've got a Wismer, Bellsprout, Whalmer, Beldum, Spoink, Darkness Energy, Rare Candy, Imatang, Apricorn Maker, Reverse Hiker, and we've got... Ooh, there we go. Switching it up. Our Hollow is a Deoxys Psychic type this time. Breaking the cycle. Very cool looking card. Very cool indeed. And get this last stuff out of the way to get into our last booster pack. Okay, last pack of part number one. And then we're going to be having to keep those fingers crossed for some good stuff coming up in part number two. There's still 18 packs to go. Alrighty. Last pack here. We've got Metatite, Spoink, Electrike, Surskit, Onyx, a Water Energy, Super Scoop Up, Masquerain, Bills Maintenance, Reverse Bills Maintenance, and a regular rare clay doll, which is one I haven't seen yet. So very cool to end off on a card I haven't seen, which means needs to be added into the binder anyway. Very cool. And we got some some goodness going on right here. Go ahead, get this kind of sorted a bit. And recap pulls from part number one. Got the beautiful reverse rare Kyogre. Surprised to only see one reverse rare so far. Got a few hollows, Steelix, Deoxys, Heatran, and Metagross. Our first Prism Star of the set, which is this super cute looking Jirachi. Got Mr. Mime GX. And, oh, best card of this part has to be the Electrode GX. This thing, I just love the expression on its face and the artwork. And the fact that it's a hyper rare, the fact that it's a hyper rare is really cool. So I'm really happy with the pulls from this first half. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you're excited to see what we're going to get in part number two. My question for the day is, what is your favorite Ultra Beast? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you next time for part number two. Have a good one, guys.